Good morning. Is Catherine there, please? Yes, this is Catherine. Hi, Catherine. How are you doing? This is Mr. Uh, Felcher calling for security. Hi. And I'm calling in regards to uh, an incident that we have on tape. Now, first off, I'd like you, you're, you're working later on tonight? Yes, I am. Okay. Instead of reporting directly to your supervisor, I'd like you to come into the security offices here. Uh, why is that? Well, we have, um, we have on tape an incident that took place a couple of nights ago in the parking uh, lot. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Well, I don't know if you realize this, but we have security cameras set up on the grounds. Right. And we have, we have um, a tape of you and a man in the parking lot. Well, that was on my lunch hour. And oh, so you don't deny then that something took place in our parking lot? Well, I met my husband for lunch on my lunch hour. Uh-huh. And it was my own time, so I'm able to meet with him. Well, I don't know if you realize this, but but the acts that you took place uh, that that took place in that car, th this is in public view. This is on company property. Right, but it was on my own time on my lunch hour, and I could do whatever I want on my own time. It was on company time. Well, I understand it was your lunch hour, but you have to realize this is company property, and but, what what we we've got you on tape as to what happened in that car. So you're saying that I can't on my lunch hour. Meet my husband for lunch and give him a blow. <laughs> Dino gives those details about that particular no, no. lunch break? No, Dino <laughs> just said they fooled around in the car. 7.15, 15 after 7 o'clock. We're going to get back. We had to call Catherine back and let her know that Dino was stinging her on Dirty Friday. Hello? Hello, uh, Catherine? Yes. Hi, Catherine. I'm calling in regard. Uh, this is, uh, I'm calling from again. This Why is you hang up on me? Well, we must have been cut off there. Now, the reason I'm calling you back is I, I've got to get you into the office later on today. I'm sorry? I've got to get you into the office later on today over this, um, this incident on the property. No, I don't think that's right that you're taping without even our knowledge. You should post signs. I think it's against the law to tape without notifying people. Well, no, ma'am. You see, that's, that's company property. That's why we're taping. It's security cameras that just happen to pick you up. Well, why don't you give me your name and your exact location? I want to give my manager a call because I don't feel that that's right that you're taping me without even notifying me at all. Okay, well, we got you on tape in your car. Uh, this is um, this is uh, Lamont and Tonelli from 92.3 KSJO. Oh, no. Ka Catherine, you're on the air. It's Dirty Friday. Your husband, Dino, set you up. No, this is live on the... Oh, no. Good morning. You're on the air. Good morning. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. Do you have a message for Dino? Yeah, you can go ahead and tell him that that's the last book. <laughs> <laughs> I guess Dino's Dino. cut off for a while, huh? <laughs> Dino. <laughs> Sorry, Dino. Hello? Good morning. Uh, is, uh, is this the owner of the house? Um, no, this isn't. He isn't in right now. Oh, hi. This is Josh calling from Pet Planet. Uh-huh. I'm calling about the lizard we sold you. Uh-huh. Uh, do you still have the lizard? Yes, I do. Are you enjoying it? Yes, I am. Uh, the reason I'm calling, um, I hope you're not too alarmed. Uh, the lizards, uh, we found out, are carrying uh, the South American anal titus uh, strain. What is that? It's a strain of disease. Uh-huh. And um, it, it's not too serious, but we're just wondering, as long as you haven't been handling the lizard too much, things will be okay. I have been. The whole family has been. God, I hope you aren't catching anal titus. Um, what is that? Well, as long as the skin hasn't been peeling off. Did the skin of the lizard peel off yet? Yes, it has. Oh, no. Oh, no. Have, I, have you been feeling okay? No. Actually, I've been very sick the last two days. Oh, geez. I hope you don't have anal titus. Well, what is that? Uh, it's a South American strain that can be transported with lizards and transmitted with lizards. Yeah, have you been uh, feeling sweaty lately? Yeah. Really? Uh, can you check to see if your uh, lizard has any secretions from the, um, from the uh, rear? He doesn't seem to. There's been no strange secretions whatsoever? Sick. No, not that I can see. No? I mean, has it been turding all over? Has it been what? Turding all over? Um, it, the first few days that we had it didn't, and then today there's a couple in the cage, but not... Oh, jeez. Oh, it's already turdin' too, huh? Have you been turdin' all over? No. You haven't? Uh. Well, maybe you don't, haven't got anal titus yet. 
Um, do you think your husband has anal titus? Has he been feeling strange? Have you been feeling strange lately? No, he says he feels fine. Well, geez, has he been? Uh, are his eye is his eye red? The lizard? Yeah, no, no. The, your husband? No. Do you have a red eye? No. Well, so far that's not a sign of anal titus. Um. Now, now, who, who, who's is it? Your husband that was in here that bought this? My boyfriend, yeah. And what's his name? Lance. Lance anal titus. Um. Well, Lance called us up this morning, Tammy. It's Lamont and Tonelli at 92.3 KSJ. It's Dirty Friday. Wow. Tammy? Tammy? <laughs> what? Are you there? You're on the air. Don't worry. You don't have anal titus. <laughs> sucker. Yes, I think that is. He is, is a sucker, yes, isn't he? Is. <laughs> Tammy? Yes. Are you there? Yes, I'm Don't there. worry, you're not suffering from anal titus. <laughs> 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 she was a little bit upset at her boyfriend <laughs> for setting her up on Dirty Friday. When we call someone who's like auditioning for a, a job or something in the arts, they're holding on to that dream, Paul. Hello? Good morning. I'm looking for Ann. Uh, this is Ann. Hi, Ann. I'm calling from the um, advertising firm of Cumstein and Cumstein. And I'm calling in regards to your portfolio that was forwarded to me. Oh, Yeah. Um, I've got to tell you, Anne, I'm very impressed by what I've seen so far. And you were also, you, you, you did the leg thing as well? Yes, I did. All right. Now, have you ever done any, like, full body spokesperson kind of thing? Um, I really haven't, no, but I have done, uh, proofs for some for my company. Okay. And, uh, now have you done, uh, newspaper ads as well, that kind of thing? Yes, I have done that. All right, good. Uh, because what we've got in mind for you mm -hmm. is uh, a bit of everything. There'd be okay. some kind of newspaper ads. Okay. Uh, there'd be a, a print uh, program going out and uh, also um, uh, a TV, uh, a TV uh, deal where oh. you become a spokesperson for a product that we're, uh, we've got a client. Oh, my gosh. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, yeah. Your portfolio was, uh, was forwarded to us actually from uh, the, uh, the firm in San Francisco that we right. deal with. Right. Uh, we're calling you from Chicago, and I hope it's not too early for you. Uh, no, it's okay. That's okay. fine. I'm awake. All I'm right. ready. All right, great. Now, uh, the, the client uh, re would request, what I'd like to do here, we can't afford to, to obviously fly every prospective model out and spokesperson, so right. we have a bit of a screening process on the phone. Okay. And uh, we're, uh, it, would, would you mind if we tape this? Uh, uh, no, that's fine, but I, I don't quite, I don't have the line that you need. Oh, no, don't worry. I'll supply that to you. But what I've got to do, I've got to set our equipment up here. Okay. And we'll do a live audition on the phone. Oh, gee, And we'll take okay. this. We'll take the best responses. We'll give them to the client. And naturally, the client will make the final decision. Okay. All right. So All right, we've, we've already got your portfolio. We'll, we'll set that up with your audition here. And uh, I've got to tell you, though, that you're, you're highly recommended by your agency. Oh, thank you. And you're probably within our top five. Oh, at great. the moment, just by, by your look, because you've got the look we're looking for on oh, this. Oh, wonderful. All right. Okay, let me just clear my throat here a little bit. <coughs> okay, and I'll give you the line here. It's for, it's for a, uh, a bomb company. You know the it's bomb? For, you, I'm sorry? Uh, a bomb that you apply. Okay, So sure. your, your line would be, mm -hmm. the scrot tickles my chin. Okay. The, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, what did you say? Scrot or, or squat? What did you say? The scrot. Scrot. How, how do you spell that? S C R O T. The okay. scrot. Tickles. Tickles my chin. My chin. Okay. All okay. right. Now, how do you want me to say that? Uh, you give me your interpretation of that. Okay. All right. The scrot tickles my chin. All right. Now, can you say it a little happier for me? Sure. The scrot tickles my chin. All right. Give me that happy one a little more toned down. Okay. The scrot tickles my chin. Now, can you give it to me sad? It, can I... It, what exactly is the product? It, it's a bomb that we apply to scrotes. Okay. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. How did you want me to say it again? Uh, maybe a sad one this time. The scrote tickles my chin. I like the sound of that. Give me that a little stretched out. Okay. Um, the scrote tickles my chin. How is that? I think that is absolutely perfect. Yeah. Okay. By, by the way, now, your husband, Brian? Yeah? He, he, he and his scrot are probably shivering right now because they're laughing their, their ass off. Oh. Hey, uh, you know, Ann? Yeah? This is Lamont and Tonelli <gasps> calling from 92.3 KSJO. Your, oh, no. 
<laughs> My <laughs> word. You're on the air. It's Dirty Friday. I am not. <laughs> tell I'm going to kill him. <laughs> tell me about that scrot again on your chin. He is not going to get any scrot on anything, nor is he going to get any sex. <laughs> Oh, my word. That boy is going to have a celibate weekend. <laughs> He's going to have major blue balls. On oh, oh, no, don't go there. That's another product we're going we're gonna to start advertising. Hey, and you hold on, okay? We're going to set you up with a little something. Okay, Sully, thank you. Sully, get in a spooge towel. All right. Well, the official of Montanelli spooge towel. And, and get her a couple of those blue balls we have up in the uh, office, yeah, those the, KSJO balls. The experimental okay. uh, handball that we have up there okay oh uh, that was you know what i liked about that uh, the scrot what exactly is this product <laughs> what is a scrot oh. dirty friday is flying oh, along 575 God. ksjo and that was uh, beautiful hello hello is um it, now, now is is ross there please no ross is at work can i take a message no no who's this this is his wife. Oh, hi. Well, I guess we can tell you. Yes, can you confirm with Ross that we purchased uh, 5,000 shares of Fuqua for $5,000, please? This is uh, Bill uh, Withers from uh, Richard Withers and Wedgemark, the, uh, the investment firm. I'm your Investment firm? Yes, I'm your husband's broker. Excuse me, what is your name again? Uh, Mr. Withers. Mr. Withers, we don't have an investment company. Well, y yes, yes, you do. You're... Your husband approached me earlier on this week to purchase shares. To purchase? And I, I feel Fuqua is probably the strongest on the market right now. Has he purchased anything? Well, yes. That's why I'm calling to confirm $5,000 worth of Fuqua. He gave you $5,000? Well, he bought it on margin at the moment, but he owes $5,000 within the next seven business days. No, no. We, we discussed this last week. We're not investing in anything. Well, I don't know what you you discussed with him, but he purchased five thousand dollars worth of shares today of Fuqua. Well, no, I I want our money back. Well, ma'am, I I can't. I can give you your money back, but it's on your husband's orders. And if I sold it, you would probably take a loss because the moment he purchased it, you lost a thousand dollars. The stock market fell this morning. I think he's buying this for long term, maybe five years down the road. It's really going to pay off for you. But right now we've already lost money? Yes, $1,000. That son of a bitch. I was supposed to use that money to remodel the house. Um. God. Is it Cindy? Oh, it's Cindy? Just. Oh, uh, Sully. <laughs> oh, man. Cindy had a short fuse when she found out that her husband purchased some stock of Fuqua without her permission. And, uh, Sully, I think, don't we have another call where we call her back and let her know that uh, she was on Dirty Friday? Yes, we have part two of this call. Uh, the... Hello? Hello, is this Cindy? Yes, hi. it is. Cindy, hi, this is Mr. Withers calling again from uh, the brokerage firm of Richard uh, Withers and Wedgemark. Did you sell the stock? You know, it's, that's why I'm calling you back, Cindy. I'm afraid I've got some bad news. While I was talking to you, I didn't get a chance to sell it, and you lost another thousand bucks. Now you now you sell the goddamn stock. You, you, Don't wait. You've lost forty percent of your investment. I want to see if you still want to sell at such a low price. Sell it. All right. Ah, just sell it. Cindy, I'll tell you what. Cindy, <laughs> she hung up. Don't hang up on me, Cindy. Oh my. Well, I guess would we... she be a joy to go through life with? <laughs> <laughs> Honey, I am home. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Okay, we got to give her another call here. Cindy. What? Hello, Cindy. Hi. It's uh, Mr. Uh, Withers again. Listen, now the reason I'm calling you is you've already lost 2000 of your $5,000 investment. I'm getting really pissed off here. What don't you understand? Well, what I don't understand, I think you don't understand. Cindy, this is Lamont and Tonelli calling from 92.3 KSJO. You're on the air with Dirty Friday. Your husband, Ross, set you up. Good morning. Cindy. Cindy? That son of a bitch. You know, this oh, oh, boy. Oh, my. Ross, my advice to you is to get out of town fast. Oh, was she pissed off? Yes, Sully, she was pissed off. She must be like 50, 55 by now. Okay, her, uh, okay, Marianne. Marianne, she's at work. Hello? 
Hello? Hi. Is, oh. is Mary Ann there, please? This is Mary Ann speaking. Hi, Mary Ann. How are you this morning? I'm fine. How are you? Good. I'm calling from the Marriott Hotel in Arizona, and uh, I'm proud to say that you're our big winner of our uh, Win a Date with a Giant contest. You're, you're kidding. No. Now, I, you know, a lot of people don't even uh, realize we had this contest, but now we, you've booked some time during the spring training session. Right. I'm coming down there. And we see that you're staying with a girlfriend, so uh, you have won a trip. Uh, you've actually uh, won a date with the Giants and uh, a date with Will Clark. Oh, my God. With Will Clark? Yes, with Will Clark. He is so cute. You're kidding. This is not a joke. No, this is not a joke. We're calling from the Marriott. That's great. Oh, my God. That's excellent. So um, you will be uh, set up when you, when you come to town. You've got a limousine and uh, that night a date with Will. Well, I, I'm... I'm coming to town with my girlfriend, though. Yes, we realize that. Okay. Um, is she allowed to go on the date as well? Well, you know, that's that's for you to decide if you want. Well, to be quite honest with you, um, this is a pretty important trip, and um, I don't know if I could just leave her. Do you we, think Will would mind if she came along? Well, I don't know. This is... Uh... It's a fairly romantic evening that we have in, in planned for you in Will Clark. Well, to be quite honest with you, this was kind of a, an important romantic evening for me as well. And if my husband knew this, he would kill me. If you know I was talking like this, so please, if you can keep this confidential. But um, this was a real getaway trip for myself as well and my friend that is coming with me. Hello? You know, I'm, I'm maybe, uh, maybe I'm not getting the full gist of this. Mm-hmm. Yes? Yeah. But what, well, they spell it right out. This is a special getaway trip for my girlfriend and I, and um, a romantic, honest, a, ro a romantic be with her than Will Clark. But if it's something we could all go out and have fun together, then um, and then you know, hey, if it's going to be a threesome, that's great with me. I don't know how um, how well. I'll tell, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what. What? I don't know if you'll be actually going to spring training now. This is Lamont and Tonelli calling from KSJO. You're on the air right now. I'm on the air? Yes, your your husband set you up on Dirty Friday, and... Uh, mm -hmm. Good morning. You've got to be kidding me. Is this, kind of, is this some kind of a joke? Well, <laughs> you could say that. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Mary Ann? Mary, Mary Ann? <laughs> Are you there? Go <laughs> And another call gone wrong on Dirty Friday. A best of Dirty Friday at 6.57. Factory? No, from the shop. Say we got a letter yeah. from the factory. All right. Hello? Hello, is this Janice? Uh, yes, this is Janice. Hi, Janice. How are you? Uh, I'm, uh, my name is uh, Harry. I'm calling from the, uh, the shop uh, where you purchased your vibrators. And um, I'm... My number. Well, we, we keep a record of all our sales that we get across from our sales bills. And the reason I'm calling you is we're a little concerned. We, uh, we've just received a letter from the factory that produces the vibrators concerning, uh, I guess there's a, a fatal uh, emission. Uh, the, they're emitting too many negative eons, and radiation is a higher than acceptable level. What? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what? Well, it, it's okay. It's nothing serious. But it's just a, we're concerned that the vibrator that you have may be... Well, it may it may not be as safe as it should be. Now, now, do you have uh, do you ha we, we we can do, do a few tests here on the phone. Do you have your vibrator handy? Um, <laughs> just a minute. Are you sure I've got the right kind for that? Hang on, it's in my drawer. Well, that's what I want to check. Uh, here we go. Okay. Keep it in the nightstand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why not? Right by the bed. All right. Good for you. Okay, can you can you turn it on for us and hold it up to the phone? <laughs> okay. Uh, hang on. Can you hear that? Yeah, I can hear that. Just <laughs> a little closer to the phone. I can't tell you anything. Yeah, it's a little noisier than it should be. A little a little noisier than it should be. I think this might be the one. Uh, let me ask you a question, Janet. How often do you use this? <laughs> Why do you think it's next to the bed? <laughs> All the time. Well, Why? You do, huh? You think it's dangerous? Well, no, but you know, radiation is at a higher than acceptable level, so... Battery. Okay, well, you use it all the time. Well, how long do you use it for, though? Oh, I don't know. Ten minutes? 
15. I don't know. Mm. Never, never really put a stop clock to you, huh? Not really. <laughs> Try that sometime. Just, just I'm kind of curious. Like, you use it all the time. You use it like for... Psycho calling me. No, no, no. Now, you use it all the time, and, and you use it, it seems like, for a lengthy period. Why, why do you use it so often on a personal question here? Because my boyfriend fails to bring me to orgasm, so I have to do it myself. He does, does he? <laughs> wow. Oh, my. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm sure he'll be happy to hear that. You're on 92.3 KSJO. You're on the air right now. Oh, my God. This is Lamont and Tanelli. Your girlfriend, Crystal, said to give you a call. Good morning. Oh, my God. No, is it really? Yes. You're on the air. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Mark's going to kill me. Oh, my God. Oh, Crystal. Oh, Crystal's dead. Oh. I think Mark's probably dead at this moment, too. Right now. Sounds like oh Mark's been dead for a while. <laughs> 7 15, 15 after 7 o'clock as uh, we play a best of Dirty Friday without Lamont Hollywood. I explain those potatoes in your ears then. The sheep were looking Hello? pretty cute. Hello, is Christine in, please? Yeah, this is me. Hi, Christine. Uh, this is uh, Mr. Farquhar calling from the uh, dating service. Uh-huh. And I'm calling in regards to, um, I guess, the uh, sheet that we uh, we have here, the information sheet. Uh-huh. Yeah, I just want to I just want to verify some of the facts before I uh, before I uh, set you up with your perfect match. Okay. Okay. And um, now, now, once again, can you go over your uh, your your uh, vital statistics for us? My vital statistics. Yeah. So, what are your measurements, Christine? Oh, um, you you didn't fill this in here. <laughs> thirty-six, twenty-six, thirty-six. Okay, thirty-six, twenty-six, thirty-six. How old are you, Christine? I'm twenty-five. Okay, and what, what do you do for a living? Um, I work for an accountant. You work for an accountant. All right. We've got that. Let me just fill that in. Because these, um, these are all part of your makeup, and we'd like to, uh, to make sure that we find that perfect someone for you. Right. Now, what exactly are you looking for in a man again? Um, well, of course, somebody that makes a good living for himself. Okay, you're looking for a professional then. Right, right. Okay. And I'm also looking for a man with a large penis, just because my last boyfriend couldn't please me, and I think that's real important. Is there any way to find out? <laughs> well, that's not one of our questions on our on our questionnaire here, Christine. But uh, you'd be able to ask them though, because I think that's I think it's real important to me that that'll make the difference whether or not you're la- I- your last what well, what happened with your last boyfriend? He just didn't please me in bed. So it is that size thing, huh? <laughs> okay, well, we'll, we'll... Why are you calling so early, anyway? Well, because this is Lamont and Tonelli calling from 92.3 KSJO. Sue at work uh-huh. knows that you're part of this service. She found out and wanted to get you on the air. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, Christine, it's not the size of the pen. It's how you sign your name. And Christine was very embarrassed on Dirty <laughs> Friday. Yes. Uh, good morning. Is, uh, is this Jeff? Jeff. It's Jeff. Who is it? Jeff, uh, you don't know me. Well, I think maybe you know of me. My name is Ken. And you probably know my car a little better. Car. The, the Camaro. You left me this note. Are you the dickwad that keeps parking in my spot? Listen, I checked, uh, I checked around. I found out who left me this note, buddy, and I'm not too happy with it. I think this is a little extreme, don't you? Extreme? Yes, extreme. For someone who keeps parking in the goddamn spot? Listen, if you knew all the circumstances surrounding why I had to park there, it might have been an emergency. You don't leave notes like this for complete strangers. Every day? I might have, I might have had a very valid reason to park there. Every day? I'm the one who pays for the spot. What's your reason? The reason is I, I, I've got a long distance to my apartment, and I've got some heavy things to carry. Well, then I suggest you pay for a spot somewhere else. I'm the one who pays for that spot. I work a hard day. I come home from work. Last thing I'm going to do is, is drive around the block looking for a spot when I pay for that one. Well, I think you're being a little... I think you're being a little extreme here, Jeff. Extreme? You want extreme? I'll this t- time, it was a note. Next time, I'll slash your tires. And if I track you down, I'll be kicking your ass. <laughs> Slash and tires. Wow. Well, Jeff gets a call back on Dirty Friday. Sounds healthy. Calling Jeff back here. Yeah. He 
he uh, went a little ballistic on us. Yeah, he was a beauty. Parking in the spot. <laughs> Gonna kick my ass. Here we go. Yeah. Hello, Jeff? Yeah. Jeff, this is Ken calling again. Listen, buddy, I'm just calling you back because I'm really steamed over your threats. Steamed? Yeah, I'm really steamed over your threats. I mean, All right, Dick, or whatever your name is. Man, uh, Ken, uh, Ken is my name. Yeah, well, not as far as I'm concerned. How's, how's this for a threat? Next time I see a car, even if it's in the lot somewhere, your tires are as good as gone, and if you're in it, I'm hauling you out and wailing you. You got a problem well, with that? Yeah, let, let me tell you something, Jeff. Jeff? Yeah? I'm going to tell you, this is Lamont and Tonelli calling from 92.3 KSJO. You're on the air, buddy. It's Dirty Friday. The guys at work set you up. Good morning. Yeah, well, I guess the guys at work are some major dickwads, too, and uh, I think you guys are a couple of... Oh, my! <laughs> what a bitter individual, man. Hello. Good morning. Is uh, Gail, please. This is Gail. Hi, Gail. How are you? I'm calling. Uh, this is uh, Michael uh, Rogers calling from the. Uh, oh, hi. And I'm calling uh, in reference to the um, the test that you uh, you came in to complete earlier on uh, this month. Right, right for the job. Yeah, Gail, I'm very disturbed by the results here. W what What do you mean? And what I'll be forwarding that? these into uh, to the company. What, what's wrong with the results? Well, the results that we've uh, we've come up with indicate um, a very very high drug use. What? You you completely got my test results mixed up with someone else's. I don't do drugs. Now, I Gail, don't do drugs. There's been a mistake. Gail, Gail, we've you know you can sing the same old sob story that we I've heard from a number it's of other people who failed these don't drug do tests. Drugs. There's been a mistake. They're one hundred percent accurate. And we will be forwarding this to the company. You, now, you by don't law, understand. You have to have the wrong results. I don't do drugs. I'm by, completely clean. By, by law, Gail, I have to uh, call you to inform you this, and that's basically Can the I only thing I... Can I take him or something? Because you're wrong. Uh, I mean, I'm not saying I have never touched drugs in my life, but it has been more than, than six months. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, re now, now, you see, Gail, just by telling me that, you automatically fail the test. No, no... I mean, you know, every kid experiments, that was a long time ago. You can't, you can't blame me for something that happened a long time ago. Well, you have to have the wrong no, no, results. No, no, ma'am. Or let me retake them. I'll retake them. No, you them. cannot retake them. Uh, the company only hires us for the one test. It's up to it's I, the I'll company's... I'll do anything. I need this job. I Excuse need this job. I have, I have been unemployed for six months now. This is a really good job. I will retake it. I will pass. But if you deny me this, I'm going to lose this job. I'll do... What, what do I need to do? Well, I'll go down there. Do you want me to go down there in person? Well, you see, Gail, it doesn't really matter because they, they employ us to do one test, and we've got the results, and we just hand those over to but, the company. But you could do another but, test. You could do this for me. No, Gail. Uh, uh, is there anything, anything I can do that you'll, well, you'll, you'll give me another test? Like what? What, what? what are you referring to? What, what do you want? What do you mean, anything I can do? Are, I don't know. Um, are you married? I could take you out to lunch or something or, or you know, anything. Or, or what? Anything. I'll do anything to get this retaken. Anything, you, you know. If you, we could go out and you know, maybe maybe have a couple drinks or something. You know, I could. Um, I'll do anything. I'll do anything. You want me to? You want? To, I'll sleep with you. I'll do anything you want. Well, uh, Gail, you want to meet me somewhere? Gail, we could get a motel. Gail, Gail, what I what I'll tell you is. Uh, your mother called us this morning. This is Lamont Antonelli from oh KSJ. My. Uh, oh, boy. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Stung what, your daughter. I wonder what kind of job she was applying for. Boy, sometimes things go seriously wrong on a dirty Friday. Hello? Good morning. Is uh, Peggy there please this is peggy hi peggy how are you this morning i'm fine good i'm calling from the uh club yes and i'm calling now you had your first class last night didn't you yes as a matter of fact i did yeah you were in the aerobics class yes i did a step class step aerobics now were you the one wearing the uh the pink thing <laughs> pink and black yes pink and black one yes. oh, okay that's you then all right um, uh, my name is larry i'm uh, one of the managers down here 
Yeah. yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I didn't get a chance to meet you when you were in, but I saw you in the class last night, and I couldn't help but watch you in, in the class for, oh, God, I was watching it for like 10 minutes or so with, with, with a couple of the guys down there. And uh, the reason I'm calling you is um, I'd like to ask you to, uh, well, I'd like to actually revoke your membership in the uh, gymnasium. Revoke my I my first night was last night. Revoke my membership. Yeah. Why would you be revoking my membership? Well, you know when I was watching you, you you're, you're bad for business. Like your ass is so wide, it looks like a billboard. Is this some kind of a joke? You know, I, I've never seen legs without knees before. Oh my god! You are a director of a gym, and you are calling me to insult me and I'm, revoke my membership. I've heard of cottage cheese, but your ass, ass looks like a creamery. This is absolutely the biggest insult I have ever had, and I will be writing a formal note to that gym. I want your name. My my, my, my name is my name is Larry. Larry, you are a and an wow. I thought we already went over that part of the anatomy. We'll call her back. <laughs> Lamont pulling a few out of the bag there and just insulting this gal. And I think he was just to the point where he was going to say that he was dicking with her on Dirty Friday when, right. when she called him a sphincter. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Uh, is this Peggy? Yes, this is Peggy. Hi, Peggy. This is Larry calling again from the... I don't have anything to say to you. Now, now, listen, Peggy, maybe you misunderstood what I was trying to tell you. How can I misunderstand where are your knees? You've never seen legs without knees. How can well, I misunderstand that? No, well, you know what? Listen, Peggy, the reason I'm calling back is to say I have never seen anyone move on the, on the floor like you. You are absolutely unbelievable. I have already started putting together this letter for the management. I, I will have your job for this. Do you know how much courage it took me to go in there i didn't want to be in that stupid aerobics class i am so self-conscious and i am only 125 pounds by the way why well, I, I understand not, there were a lot of other girls much bigger than i was why are you picking me out well I'll, I'll tell you why i'm picking you out here it's because your friend kim told us to give you a call this is lamont and tonelli calling from 923 oh. kstao you're on the air. It's Dirty Friday. I'll wait till I get my hands on her. Do you know how self-conscious <laughs> I am about my size? No, no, Peggy. We understand Settle you're down, gorgeous. Peggy. She said you're beautiful. Uh, what? You see, Kim just, she doesn't understand. She's the one who forced me into that stupid thing, and I didn't want to go in the first place. I'm going to kill her. <laughs> well, she says, know. well, Kim doesn't even think that you need to work on anything. Well, she knows what I think about my butt and thighs. Well, oh, really? how are your butt and thighs? <laughs> well, they're not that bad. I certainly didn't deserve all those comments today. I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Hello. Good morning. Is Rob, please? Yeah, this is Robbie. Hi, Rob. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? I'm doing fine. This is uh, John Flatchens calling from the uh, the, gym. and I'm calling in regards to your uh, brand new membership. Okay. Hi. How are you doing this morning? John, how are you? Doing good. Uh, are, are you enjoying our gym? Yes, I am. Good, because we've seen you in here quite a bit, and uh, we just want to say welcome to the gym. Well, I'm trying to do the best I can. Yeah, we understand that, and you're, and you're going religiously for like the, the, the beginning part of the year, and we just want to call all our new members and welcome them and make them feel okay and, and uh, find out if you like everything. Yeah, I love it. You enjoy the facilities? Yes, I do. I enjoy it a lot. All right, great. You know, we, uh, we love having you here. As a matter of fact, I've noticed you coming in over the last few days, and um, I just just want to know if uh, if you'd be interested in going for dinner sometime. Going for dinner? Yeah. I could probably do that. Where are we going? Well, where where, where what kind of food do you like? Um, sushi. Sushi? Yeah. Okay, Rob. Um, oh God, this was easier than I thought. I was I was a little worried calling you up for a date. You were. Yeah. You're calling me for a date. Well, yeah. That, that's why I'm calling. I'm, I'm, I'm interested in you. I've seen you, seen you at the gym over the last little while, and I think you're a very sexy man, and I, I'd like to stick my... in your... Okay. R Robbie, you, you, you are homosexual, are you not? I'm not. Well, Robbie, Robbie, I, I prefer not to call it that. I, I, I uh, am interested in you, and I, I, su you look very sexy at the gym, and I thought you were sending me signals. Mm, well, I try to send signals, but I don't know about homosexual signals. 
will rob you. Don't knock it till you try it. You think you'd be interested in going for dinner with me now? A little schnitzel and grubin? Well, that all depends. That depends? Yeah. Depends on what? Schnitzel and grubin? Some wieners, a big hot dog. Maybe we'll go to wiener schnitzel or something. Oh. That doesn't have anything to do with sushi, does it? Robbie, do you think you think you'd be interested in trying out for the other team? Because I am very, very attracted to you. Hmm. You got me thinking now. <laughs> Robbie, it's Lamont Tonelli calling from KSJO Radio. No. You're on the air. <laughs> it's no. Dirty, it's Dirty Friday. <laughs> I got you thinking. Although, <laughs> we, <laughs> we may be changing the name of the show from Lamont and Tonelli to Smith and Groovin. <laughs> It's Schnitz and Groovin. Smith and Groovin? <laughs> what were you thinking about, Robbie? So you're, you're a man of the world, Robbie. Robbie. I was thinking about you. That's... Oh, yeah. Good cover up, Robbie. Oh, sure. Yeah, Robbie. Hey, now Robbie. you got me thinking, Robbie. <laughs> were you trying to figure out who this was? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey, Robbie. Or are you trying to figure out which side of the plate to hit from? <laughs> Robbie, you hold on the line. The guys at work said to give you a call this morning. Okay. Do you have anything to say to them? Uh, <laughs> Robbie Scott. <Stein. laughs> Give this to me. Robbie, the guys at work, hold on, okay? We've got a little something for you, Sully. Yes. Give me that jar of Vaseline. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations on your new workout routine. Does it involve you? No, no I can guarantee yeah, you. All you guys are going to be doing squats together. <laughs> and the only thing I do at the g gym is the uh, clean and jerk. <laughs> And the snatch. Yeah, he's an expert. He's an expert at the jerk. He doesn't clean too well, though. Uh, it's more like, instead of the clean and jerk, it's more like the jerk and wipe. You know what? Was that guy beautiful? Well, I'm not trying to send out no homosexual vibes. Smith and Groovin? Oh, that was funny, man. 738. I'd like to see him show up to work now. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, man. I just love Dirty Friday. Here we go. So what's his name? Kevin. Hello. Good morning. I'm looking for Kevin. Please. This is Kevin. Hi, Kevin. How are you? This is John Fing Boxen calling from the uh, department. And I'm calling in regards to an investigation we have uh, ongoing concerning some vandalism at a um, at the uh, course. Vandalism? Yes, sir. It Nobody, I, my it, car wasn't vandalized. No, sir. It seems that uh, you were reported as uh, a person that broke a uh, a car window in the in the uh, parking lot, and uh, someone took down your uh, license plate number. I now, broke were you, a window were, were you, in, the were, in the parking lot? Yes, no, sir. Now, if I would have broke a window in the parking lot, sir, were you golfing? Were you golfing last Sunday at the course? Uh, yeah, I was playing golf last Sunday. Okay. Someone saw you hit a ball off the course, and it went into the parking lot, and it broke a window. Now, you didn't leave any kind of identification on the vehicle? Oh, I, I, I hit a ball into the parking lot, but how did they get my license number? I was in the golf cart, and they don't have licenses. No, sir, someone saw you hit the ball, and then they saw you checking out the damage later, just hopping into your car, and you left without owning up to this accident. Did you report it to the pro shop, sir? No, I didn't. So you do not deny, then, that you broke a car window? I broke it. Sir, do you realize this is akin to a hit-and-run accident? The damage to this car was close to $400. So what are you going to do here? Well, sir, we're going to have to charge you. With what? Leaving the scene of an accident? And vandalism. Oh, no, you're not. No, you, you, you actually, you didn't report this whatsoever? This wasn't a moving. This wasn't a moving violation. I'm an amateur, and I hit a golf ball. I, I'm not responsible for the flight of my ball. But you do not deny then that you damaged this car. I, I guess I don't deny that. And you didn't report it. I didn't report it. No, I didn't. Well, sir, let me just say one thing: that you're responsible not only for the four hundred dollars damage, uh, you are also uh, subject to a number of fines here. What other fines? Well, there's a hundred fifty dollar uh, civic fine for not reporting the accident. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Well, I'll have to talk to my attorney. We'll have to look this law up. All right, Kevin, and also say hi to your son, Steve, because he said to get you this morning. It's Dirty Friday, bro. You're on the air, Lamont Tonelli.
Kevin? You gotta be shitting me. Put this on the radio. Kevin, you're on the air. Now the guy hit really is gonna know I broke his window. <laughs> You can Kevin. run, but you can't yeah. hide, Kevin. Do you have anything to say to your son, Kevin? <laughs> Somebody's going to get a boot in their butt when I get home. <laughs> hey, Kevin, you might want to put both boots up his butt because he said, hey, my dad, he takes high blood pressure medicine. I think he'd be a great victim for Dirty Friday. Oh, God, it's been such a bad week. My gums are bleeding as it is. <laughs> Kevin, you hold on the line, okay? Yeah. You might, <laughs> hey, Kev, bleeding gums, use Preparation H for toothpaste. That might take care of it. <laughs> Hold on the line. We have a little something for you this morning. Oh, man. That was beautiful. We the place here, Ben. Here we go. Hello. Good morning. This is Casey. Good morning. Is Casey... Please. Uh, speaking. Hi, Casey. This is uh, Officer Dick Ballsdeep calling from the Santa Clara County Department. Calling in regards to your husband, Brad. Well, is he okay? Uh, is oh, yeah, yes, ma'am. He, he's fine. Uh, don't worry about that. However, we've arrested him this morning uh, for soliciting a prostitute. Excuse me? Uh, we arrested your husband, Brad, earlier on this morning for soliciting a prostitute in the Tenderloin District. You arrested him for solici soliciting a prostitute? Yes, ma'am. And he's currently incarcerated in a holding cell. And we were asked to give you a call. Oh, my God, that son of a bitch. Are you sure? Are you sure that it's my husband? Yes, ma'am. He gave us this number. He said uh, you would come and bail him out. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, Casey, the incident took place earlier on this morning, around 7.15. The prostitute he approached was a male undercover police officer. What? What? The... A man? Yes, it was a male undercover police officer. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Brad is currently I... being strip searched and is enjoying it very much. It's Lamont and Tonelli calling from KSJO Radio. Casey... Oh. You're, you're on the radio. It's Dirty Friday. Good morning. Oh, my God. <laughs> You've already said oh, that. I thought my husband... Oh. This was oh. all... Oh. Hello? Casey? Casey? They said, they said... No. They said that my husband... <laughs> She's telling someone to work. That's what it sounds like. It's the radio. It's <laughs> <laughs> they said Ca that my husband... A hooker. <laughs> Casey? Oh, my God. <laughs> Casey, it was all, Casey, it was, it was all Brad's oh idea. God. Oh, my God. Said, yes. <laughs> You've already said, oh, my God. <laughs> Casey there? Oh, my God. I'm gonna yes, you said it again. Oh, you <laughs> he told us to give you a call. He told us to give you a call this morning. I have tears at work, and people are like, what is going on? <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to kill him. Do you have uh -oh. anything to say to your husband? Uh, wait till you get home. He oh, may my be, God. He may be going to get a prostitute <laughs> after this know, weekend. Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> oh, my Jesus. <laughs> Casey, hold on the line, okay? Uh-huh. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's talking to someone at work Casey again. Casey sounds like she'd get along fine with Dana. They can <laughs> sit around and, oh, my God, all oh, day. Hook, <laughs> line, and sinker this morning. Oh, dirty beautiful. We're having a great Dirty Friday, are we not? <laughs> Although, Brad, uh, at least uh, he had his wife pegged. Casey sounds like she does have a fairly decent sense of humor. Yeah. Oh. Thank God. <laughs> it's too much fun this morning.